A market's moral? Every day, millions of people around the world depend on markets to satisfy their basic needs, to keep in touch with friends and loved ones, to perk up and to relax. So why is it that capitalism and its supporters are often portrayed in popular literature and scholarly debate as monsters? Vampire capitalism is said to suck the blood of workers, further enriching the wealthy and impoverishing the disadvantaged. Zombie capitalism is lumbering around the landscape, eating human brains and turning us into mindless, withered things. Demon capitalism possesses us all, turning us into slavish, soulless creatures who produce only what we are told to produce and consume only what we are told to consume. A common thread running through these criticisms of the market is the notion that markets are morally corrupting. But this criticism of markets is at root an empirical rather than a philosophical claim. We can evaluate whether or not it is true that markets are likely to be morally corrupting using our theoretical understanding of how markets can and should work and on the basis of evidence regarding how markets do work. People who live in market societies are wealthier, happier, healthier and better connected than people who live in non-market societies. These benefits are not only enjoyed by the privileged few in these communities, the least advantaged in market societies are better off than the least advantaged in non-market societies, and may be better off than the most well-off in some non-market societies. This material fact, argue Ginny Sung Choi and Virgil Henry Storr, is of moral significance. In their book, Do Markets Corrupt Our Morals?, they demonstrate that, relative to people in non-market societies, people in market societies are less materialistic, give more to charity, are less corrupt, and are more likely to be cosmopolitan, trusting, and trustworthy. Rather than being morally corrupting, the market is a moral training ground that offers us opportunities to discover others who have the moral qualities that we admire, and where virtuous behaviour is rewarded and immoral behaviour is punished in markets. So, are markets morally corrupting? To dig into the details of how the market may actually improve morality, read Do Markets Corrupt Our Morals? published by Palgrave Macmillan.